Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to this week's video. This week's video is semi-requested, a few of you have mentioned it a couple of times, but I thought I would do a little video on the best and worst houseplants of 2023. Let's do all the best, then all the worst first. That way, if you just want to see the best or the worst, then you can just skip backwards and forwards. So we're going to do that. Reminder before we start, I have the merchandise, link in description. I'm still wearing it, it's just a little bit chilly in here so I'm wearing a jumper on the top. But anyway, let's kick it off with the best house plants of 2023. So the first plant on my list, they're in no order by the way, is the Microsorum thailandicum, otherwise known as the blue oil fern. Now I do have them behind me. You might see if I just wag my hand backwards and forwards on that bottom row, that's all Microsorum thailandicum all of it. I'm not going to pick up plants to show you because it's going to take forever and I don't think I've got every single plant on this list but I've got most of them. I have all of the best. Uh, you know what? I actually have all of the worst. I have every single plant on this list but I am actually going to do photographs because it would take forever to show you. I've just rearranged the shop. It's not a good thing. So Microsorum thailandicum. For me it's done unbelievably this year in terms of sales. It's kind of done brilliantly since I actually started selling it, which I think would be maybe last year, was it? I can't really remember, but it's always done really, really well. You guys asked for more of it in recently, so here we are. There's a nice load of it behind me, ready to go out in a few weeks' time. I think it does really well, obviously because of the color of it. I don't personally think, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think it's a very difficult fern to grow, because it is a fern. It doesn't present much like a fern. I guess the shape is like a fern, but the leaves are extremely rigid. So I always compare them to like the leaves of a hoya, for example, because you can't bend them, they would snap. Nat! Oh, need to do a little bug bomb in here. I've got a gnat just literally flying around because I had a delivery in recently and it's come in on the delivery. Great, love that. I think this plant's going to continue to do well if you want my little opinion there. And again, it's the color. It's because it's quite easy to, to look after, in my opinion. Oh my God. Oh, I might have got it. No, I didn't. Shame. No, I didn't. Oh my God. Right, if I start clapping, it's because there's a gnat in my face. Anyway, relatable, right? But yeah, I think it's, I think it's always going to do well for a good period of time. And I think even when it gets cheap, because it inevitably will eventually, I guess, it's still going to do really well because of the way it looks. It's absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Next best plant on my list, I have the Syngonium Chiapensi Variegated. Now, this is the best plant on my list because, again, for me, it has sold amazingly. I don't really struggle to sell them at all. Every time I have a cutting, it just goes. It's not a problem. Ships well, propagates well. I bought one, I've said this before, I bought one plant, I think a couple of years ago now, and the yield I've got off that plant is insane. You can't see it. There is actually a tray here. This one, I think, is full of Syngonium chiapensi. There is two more trays as well. They all need cuts. They need propagate. It's, it's a bit insane now. They're a bit, like, you can see how tall they are. Not so good, but they make so much money. They're really, really good. I would almost say they're a very good investment plant still if you want to sell something and make some money off it. Spoiler alert. If I do an investment plants video, that's probably on there, to be honest. Just a pretty plant. And it doesn't typically look like a Syngonium, I find. Like, yes, it is a Syngonium, but it, it looks more, I dare say it looks more philodendron-y sometimes and I think that helps. It, it really helps it sell itself. It's also a lot bigger than a normal Syngonium tends to get, so that's quite nice as well, depending on what you want. But that's definitely another best plant in for this year. They're just so good looking. Oh my god, they're so good looking. Right, another best plant for this year, and I think people might be surprised at this one, but I've actually put in the Philodendron Spiritus Sancti. Now, I know there's been a price drop and everything else, but they've still sold really well for me, even with the price dropped. So I have a bunch of TC Spiritus. I, you can't see them. They're actually down at the bottom of this aisle that I'm sat next to at the very bottom. I have a tray full and they're probably about this tall now. Leaves are about this long. Very, very cute. I've been selling them really well all year. So even though the price has dropped, they've still been really good sellers. So you can look at that one whichever way you think. It depends how your brain works as what you determine best and worst to be. This video is entirely subjective, so I haven't even explained what I think are the best plants in terms of my opinion. I'm just kind of explaining it as I go along. But I think the Spiritus has done really well. I, I see a massive drop coming for it, don't get me wrong, but it's still doing really well. And I think people are always going to want to buy them. I think if people don't know what they are, you just have to show them a picture of a mature one and they're like, you know what? Yeah, I'll have that. I'll have that. So I think they're always going to do well. Profit in it, different, different conversation <laughs> that we're not having right now. But in terms of selling well, definitely Spiritus Sancti, 100%. Really cute plant. Love that plant. Can you see mine? 
Mm, no, probably not. It's mine is actually just behind this. You might see the tiniest bit of leaf. I doubt it though, but my spiritus is sat just behind this plant here. Another really obvious one that I can't deny has done pretty well this year, and that is Anthurium Delta Force. If you missed it, Delta Force has hit the TC market. I produced some myself. I've actually produced my own from my own mother plant. I sent it off last year at some point, and I had clones produced of my mother plant. My mother plant has come directly from NSC Tropicals, so it is the real deal, because I know there's a lot of fakes around there. So for the purpose of this video, I am actually talking about the real one, because there are a lot of fakes. You could do a whole video just on people selling fakes. Maybe that's a really good video idea. I'll just react to people selling loads of fake shit. But that plant has done really well. And again, it's not because I don't determine it to do badly, for example, just because the price has come down, because that's actually the market that we're in now with TC and stuff. You have to expect that. But in terms of sales and people wanting it and everyone wanting to have it, for an Anthurium as well, it's done really, really well this year. So I actually can't knock that. I still think it'll continue to sell when there are new batches of TC coming. I know that I don't have my new batch yet, so stay tuned, there will be one. I do actually have some here. I have maybe half a tray. They were just ones that maybe didn't do quite as well, like, you know, the odd, like, dog-eared one. I do have a couple of larger ones as well. I said I wouldn't get up. I said I wouldn't do it. But here we are, I'm doing it. For example, there is a bigger one here. I do have some bigger ones. This is a larger one. Again, totally cloned from my mother plant. Um, I have loads of seeds and stuff as well. But I do think they will come around next year and I think they will continue to do very well. Again, profit is a different conversation. I'm more talking about popularity. So that's been another really, really good one as well. Another best plant this year, and it's not actually something I've sold a lot of, but I know it's doing really well in the market, and that is Variegated Philodendron Gloriosum. I... <sighs> I don't know why it's doing so well. Uh, maybe people are just, more and more people are finding out about it. More and more people are becoming enamored by it. And it's just, I wouldn't say it was taking off. I wouldn't think that was a fair statement to make, but it is doing quite well. It's got a similar arc, I think, so far, based on what I'm seeing, to the arc that Florida Beauty had for years. Like, it's always going to have a bit of a price tag, but the price tag, it's not super high and super low. Just seems a little bit more stable than that, which I really, really like. Now, it will drop a little bit just due to the fact that Gloriosum have definitely dipped, um, but it is still doing really well. And I have a tray at some point that I propagated it anyway. Um, you can't see that. That is... Am I even touching it? You might see the tiniest, tiny bit there of something variegated. I can't see on my viewfinder, but I have a tray full there that's doing really well. That's not out till spring. And as I say, it's not about what I'm selling necessarily in every plant because I haven't really sold much of that this year, maybe five or less. I don't know, but I know they're doing very well because I see them passed around, certainly from suppliers and stuff like that. So I think they're doing really well. I think they'll probably do well next year as well. They've got a long way to go, I think, before they would even tank. Next plant on my list is one that's definitely tanked in price. 100%, but people still like it. That's kind of what's kept the spark alive for this plant, I think. it's The price has come down, but people still want to buy them. It's not one of these plants that's been affected by, should we say, plant snobbery, because in the houseplant world, you do get a lot of people that they say they want something. That's because it's got a value to it. And then once the value goes, they don't care anymore. I don't think this plant has suffered from that. And I think it's just because it's a pretty plant. It's a pretty plant. The uh, the non-variegated version has been pretty anyway, but that is the Raphidophora tetrasperma variegata. That has done really well. Now, I haven't sold it for a ton of money this year. I do have quite a lot of it, actually. Some of it, I know I'm telling you where every plant is in my shop. I don't know why that's becoming a trend for this video. I think it's above me. Yeah, it is. it's above me on this top shelf, so there's no way you could see it. But I have a tray of that that's probably going to be ready for spring again. Who knows what they'll sell for then? Don't know. Again, this is this is not a plant that's held on to the price tag. But we must remember, guys, that price tag was really artificially inflated. Like, the, they had a 10, 10 grand bloody price tag on them at some point. Absolute bollocks. Absolute bollocks. So they've probably arguably come down to more of what you'd expect them to come down to. And you can get some really nice plants out there now. And if you've waited for this plant, honestly, I do think now is the time. There's some really, really nice plants out there. You just got to look for them. Although you may be not. You might not even have to look for them, to be honest. They might just be readily available. I don't know. I haven't checked. I just know that this plant, it's always sold well for me when I've listed it and things like that. People have bought it. Never heard any problems back from shipping it or anything of the sort. But they seem pretty stable as well, or at least my batch are. So I can't speak for every single tetrasperma out there, but they seem pretty good. 
The next one, and again, this hasn't made a ton of money, but everyone likes them and everyone thinks that they're quite nice, they're hardy, they're a nice spin on, again, a plant that we get all the time in garden centers. Can you see the pattern with some of these things on this list? But that is the Spathophyllum, I don't know if you could call it Platinum, Ghost, the Silvery Spathophyllum, which I swear, I swear blind I have not planned this, but there is one at my feet, so I will pick it up. And I know I said I wouldn't do it, guys. I said I wouldn't do it, but here we are. Let me just pick this boy up. Oh my God, he's heavy. This guy here, he's literally, he was about a meter away at my feet, so I picked him up. Spath Film, Platinum, Silver, Ghost, whatever you want to call them. These are doing really well. I don't think they're making it an insane amount of cash or anything, but again, it's Spath Film. People know where they stand. If you've had a regular Spath Film and you're, you're good with them, then this is a really nice choice to add to it because it's nice and frosty. Could you call it frosty, minty? I don't really know. I, I would call it... Silver, I suppose. I wouldn't even call it blue. On camera, it's probably throwing a little bit limey. It's also flowering. Uh, it quite likes my feet, I think. Because um, it's quite small and it's flowering. I've got a couple of pups in there. Generally, it's doing really nice. And they are so tough. They are so tough. When you bring them in, you're not going to have a problem. They root really fast as well. I can't even tell you how fast these things root. But they're doing really well. They have done well. And if nothing else, personally, for me this year, they are a top plant. Absolutely. I'm going to pop them down because I said I wouldn't do it. I said I wouldn't do it and I've done it. I've done it. Right, where's my phone? So yeah, really, really good plant. I don't see that sticking around a ton. I think it might go a bit quiet and then we might see it in garden centers. I don't think it's gonna stay around the entire time. I think people will maybe, dare I say, lose interest. I don't know. I can't articulate what I mean. I just think that people will stop talking about it and then in six months to a year, it'll be in garden centers and people are like, oh my god, do you remember them? D does that make any sense? I don't think it's prominent in the market that we're in, but I do see it being in garden centers 100%. I realize this is like semi-predictions video, but if you stick around till next week, guys, you'll get my actual predictions for next year because I'm going to film it after this and I have a good feeling I have a good feeling about my predictions so anyway moving on now the next plant on my list it's not this specific plant and I say this all the time when I bring this up it's plants that are basically the same as so I'm going to bring up mysterious dark boy who is actually behind me so I'll give you the geographical location of all the plants this guy here I tell you what I'll, I'll actually get up off my seat the, the perks of wireless microphones so this guy here I'm talking about but I'm not talking about him specifically I'm basically talking about anything that looks like him so so things like Anthurium mudinum or this or what's the other one? Red, Red Beauty or something. Oh, New Leaf Alert, by the way. How nice is that? I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's sexy. But anything like him has done really well this year. Now, in my terms, I can only talk about him because I don't actually have mudinum or anything else. I only have him in this shop. And every single time I list him, I maybe only list a couple at a time every three months. And they just sell straight away and I don't think I've heard of people that don't like them I think they seem to keep their color really well I haven't heard anybody have a serious problem with that they just they are what they are like I don't think this guy here <laughs> like that is getting a ton of light I think it might look like that way on camera but I can make this room look lighter than what it is if that makes sense but it's not getting a ton of light and it's still staying really dark don't get me wrong the lower leaves I don't think you can see that one down there <laughs> it's really hard to point but it is more of a of a green vibe um, but they do stay dark quite a lot. Actually, on my Instagram, I posted one quite recently. It's a picture of probably that leaf there. You can see, because I think lower down, you can see one of the older leaves, and you can see that it is a very dark green. So they don't stay like that permanently, but they are very, very good. And my god, they are tough. My god, they are tough. My god, they are tough. But I'm calling it Mysterious Dark Boy, but I'm pretty sure all of the other types, like Mudinum and things like that, will have probably followed suit. I, my point is I can only just talk about it from the point of view of this one, because I've never sold the other ones. I keep losing my list. It's, it's upsetting me, guys. It's actually upsetting me. Where has it gone? I must be like tapping my phone when I talk to you guys. It's very annoying. Come back to me. It kind of leads me into the next plant on my list, which nobody, I don't think anyone's going to get this one. I actually don't. I think this might surprise a few of you. But the next plant on my best for 2023 list is actually the Dark Anthurium Forgetii. Now, honestly, I promise you, I actually promise you, I have not put this on this list just because it's my best and I like the plant. That is not what's happened. I get requests to sell this plant all the time because nobody seems to have it. And I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I would have got to work on propagating it ages ago because I have loads of them, loads of them just hanging around. Now they are quite mature, so I will actually have to propagate them. But trust me, when I say these guys have done very, very well and they still have a bit of a price tag. So if you've actually got some hanging around your house and especially if you don't want them, maybe think about selling them. They do actually have a value. And I don't know, I don't know what happened. I think they just got lost by the wayside. My original uh, dark forms came from 
God, I've had them since literally 2018, 2019 or something. They've come from Ecuador, I think. But I've had them so long. And I remember because Ben was going to throw them out one day and I just liked them because I've always said I like dark form. Forget it, I write. And I thought, I'll just propagate them myself. So I did. I don't do my to do it myself. I'll just have a little trade to myself. Thank God I did. Thank God I did. Because they do really well and you can't get them very easily. Not saying they're impossible. Please do not. Not saying they're impossible. But they're not easy to get. So that might surprise a few of you that it's on there, but deadly serious. I've done really well with them this year. Really, really well. I know it's like a complete and utter underdog, but maybe it's the dark things, you know? People love a bit of darkness. Now, that reminds me of something, and I haven't put it on this list, but I'm going to mention it very, 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 very quickly. Can't speak today. I'm going to mention the Squammy Coal Blood plant philodendron very, very quickly, because the same thing has happened. And again, won't bore everyone, but I bought them in cheaper. I think I talked about them. The price went up, and now everyone's kind of hung back on them a bit, and they're not going to pay those prices, which is absolutely fine. Um, as a result, though, there's not many going around, and when I do sell some of mine off they do very very well and people pay honestly i would say quite handsomely given it is just like a philodendron that's just all green kind of thing in 2023 they always pay quite handsomely and i think the reason for that is obviously that there's not many around and i got a little bit lucky i get a bit greedy when i buy things and you see a lot of the times i'll sit on like way too much and i don't sell it in case you can't already tell um which is good and bad it depends in 2020 i was the best person to do business with now i need to learn to let things go a bit quicker and to move with the market more but on this occasion i'm pleased that i did not do that so we had the squammy call blood and it still sells really really well plus it looks absolutely stunning by the way so i'm not really surprised but wasn't on my list stealth added it stealth added it right next one now i don't shut up about this plant i actually do not shut up about this plant at all <sighs> Philodendron SP Tropicals Variegated. Backstory, I bought this one random plant in probably last year. Could be in the year before. Really sorry, guys. Can't remember. <laughs> Literally can't remember. It's a blur. And I've done nothing but make cash out of it. It propagates so fast. I think I've got about three trays of it at least. It could be four. Hang on. One, two, three, four. Four and a half trays. Actually, no, that could be put into a tray and make four. Four trays. Four trays of it. And they're ready to be propagated again, right? Crazy, 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 crazy. And again, this is just something that, granted, it's subjective to me, this one, because I've done well with it because no one kind of has it. So that's probably why I've done well with it. But I have to tell you how good it is because that's the whole point. It's my best for 2023. So I'm going to skip on from that very quickly because I acknowledge that I've done well with it because you kind of can't get it from anywhere else. So you could argue it's it's not a false best, but it's very subjective, if that makes sense. Moving on from that, the last one on my best list is a philodendron golden dragon. Now, this is creeping in to people's collections more now, and I think it's because the price has definitely come down. Now, the price was stupid for a long time, and I think the last time I did a wish list, which I can only assume was for, was it for a 2021 year or 2022? A couple of years ago, I actually did a wish list, and it was on it. It was on it. Uh, because I was obsessed with this plant. I got it in. I have been propagating it. Where did it go? It was down there. I've done like a big clear out, not clear out, a rearrange the other day and I don't know where that's gone. Sometimes if I'm talking about things, I like to know where the hell it is. Where is it? Where are you? Are you behind me? Sorry guys, I, I need to solve the riddle. Uh, well, it's not behind me. It must be over here. It just must be. Ah, right. It's behind the softbox. There's a softbox literally here. It's behind the softbox. So I have about a tray of that now as well. That's done really well. I need to actually start selling that. But I think that's starting to creep in more because it's more affordable. It's not like nearly a thousand for a plant. Do you know what I mean? It's just come down a lot. And I think people are like, hey, you know, I've always liked it, but now I want it because it's cheap enough. So it's having like a mini, a mini moment, but that's due to the price falling. Because I think most people would agree that it's a beautiful plant. It's just none of us were going to pay those prices. Guys, I sympathize. I didn't pay those prices. I have a shop and I refuse to pay them, mainly because uh, I think I was told how unstable it was, even by the suppliers, which was really nice of them. But they literally went, mm, not stable. So that's why I held off. But this year, it's done really well. And I should probably sell more of it because I've got plenty to go. So in a, whenever I open up shipping again, you will probably be treated to a few because I definitely have some. Right, on to the worst. Are you ready? Are you ready? In no particular order, once again, first off, oh, bless it, my favourite plant. I think it was my favourite philodendron of all time, guys, with a with a close second, I think. Um, the, the first plant on my list is actually the, the philodendron gloriosum. And you can pick these up literally fucking anywhere now. And I'm very happy about it, don't get me wrong. And again, this is in a, in a point of view of selling. Not every plant is, but they kind of mainly are. I'm a seller, it's going to happen. Now, the value on these has gone pew, 
doesn't change, right? Doesn't change how good the plant is. So I'm not sat here saying, hey, it's not worth anything. Eat shit. No. What I'm saying is from a selling perspective this year, for me personally, they've done terribly. I've put them in rescue boxes. I literally can't get rid of them, guys. Full disclosure, I have about three trays of them that are not white veins, so they're like the regular form with like the muted veins that I'm probably going to have to chuck out because it's costing me more money to grow them than it is to actually sell them. So the quicker they go, the more money I make. That's actually where I'm at with it. Partially my fault because I sat on a load of them in 2020 because I loved them so much because it is my favorite plant. I didn't want to sell them. So that's on me. That's fine. But if you want a Gloriosum, you can pick them up anyway. You don't need to be in my inbox asking for them. Trust me. Honestly, you really don't. You can get them from nearly anywhere now. Maybe, maybe not if you're in like a country that hasn't caught on. I promise you they're coming. I promise you they're coming. Next on the list, and I actually don't understand this one, I'm going to be honest. Next on my list is the Philodendron Longolobatum, and I don't know why this hasn't done very well. I actually don't know, because I'm, I'm looking at a really big boy now, actually, off camera. Really, really nice. I think I showed one in a video quite recently, I think probably on a plant updates video or something, and they're so gorgeous, but people just don't care, and I find it a bit odd, because it's got a lot of things about it that most people do care about, like it's long, it's quite sexy, it's got big deep lobes. It's a bit golden dragony in essence because it's all you know different, weird. I don't really get why it hasn't not become a thing, but why it just hasn't sold well. Full transparency, it hasn't actually sold that well. It's one person that comes along every few months and actually wants one. They're not mainstream by any sense. That kind of surprises me. Now, I will have some going cheap because... Can you see? <laughs> I'm trying to do this on camera. This box here has TC Longolobatum in. Oh my God, I fed them. <gasps> I fed them and they've gone so beautifully dark and they're actually now starting to get some, some lobes and some patterns on them. I bought them when they were about an inch tall, two inches tall. Now they're about, well, the leaves are about six inches long. So I'm going to have some of those up at some point to try and shift them. Otherwise, they're going to have to be potted up and they're going to start really taking up some space. But people haven't been bothered. They just haven't been bothered. And I don't really get why. I don't really see what the problem with the plant is. I mean, maybe they take up a lot of space. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Answers on a postcard if you know why no one cares about those. But that did surprise me a little bit. Right, next one. That did not really surprise me because I lost patience with this plant a long time ago. I do have some in. I say some. I've got like three plants or something. And I sell one, again, every few months. But the next one on my list is the Monstera Burley Marks Flame. Now listen, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous when it's mature. When it's not mature, it kind of looks like shit. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like you haven't fed it. You haven't given it what it needs. It's it's not pretty when it's not mature. It's just not. Someone can try and tell me different. We can argue about it if you like. But I think it hasn't sold well because people are... <sighs> I don't want to say impatient, but they're not ready for how slow this actually grows. You are not, I'm telling you now, dude, you're not prepared. You are not prepared. You think you are, you're not. It won't move. <laughs> it just won't grow. So if you really want one, if you're really passionate about having one, honestly, you either wait years to get it big if you have a small space and you want to do that, that's fine. But if you want the look of having a mature one, you're going to have to buy a mature one. You're going to have to buy a mature one. And I think you need to not be surprised if someone whacks on a price tag, okay? And I think this is why I'm seeing a disparity between little ones like TC ones that cost not a lot of money at all, and then mature ones that cost a shit ton of money. It's because people, quite rightly, to be fair, they're factoring in the time it takes for them to reach maturity. And I do personally think that's worth something. I have I have a little one, I think, that's come from TC and it's grown bigger, and I have a much larger one as well. It's not super large. I think I hauled it a while ago. Uh, it's down in that basket behind me, so this basket here. Probably can't see it. So I have a couple of them, but but they've never, they do sell well when they're small at TC level, but I, have, I I don't think I was pricing them high either. So they've sold well, but they have not done well. And I think people have just lost patience with them. I honestly think that's what the tea is with that plant, to be honest. Now, this next one, I, I don't really know what the problem is with this one, if I'm honest, but I, it's not it's not done well at all. So this is the Philodendron Billeti. Now, as a plant, I can't knock it. You'll have seen content based around it recently. I've had them in rescue boxes. I've had them when I've done a video on cool uh, philodendron hybrids, which I'd love to do more of those. Really good. But in terms of the plant itself, I've got nothing bad to say. But again, I think people are just... I don't know if it's because they're sick of it or it's a bit similar to the Gloriosum in which it's come down in price quite a bit. I don't know. I actually can't give you answers on that one. I actually can't. Maybe, maybe it's a bit big. Maybe that's the problem. 
I actually do not know. If you know why they've come down, do let me know because I don't have anything for you on that one. It's just something I've noticed. Crystallinum, Anthurium crystallinum I had on here. I'm cheating a little bit. It's been down and out for a long time to the point where I think nearly everyone's got one. There is absolutely no need to be selling them, really. Um, I think you can barely give them away these days. I think they could be borderline in garden centers as well. So I, it's something I always said would happen because I knew how tough they were and they're a really nice alternative to the Clarinervium and blah, blah, blah. But it's met its kind of natural end now. And if they ever come up again, it's, I don't know how long it would take, maybe five years. It's a long, long time. Um, the thing that has held its value more, obviously, is the red crystallinum. But it's probably a matter of time before that gets pumped out with tissue culture. So... It is what it is. But it's still a great plant. Again, I'm not knocking these plants, but they've definitely had a downturn. Variegated Adansonia, guys. Uh, I sort of sell them when they're listed, and I'm selling quite a lot of it for the money as well, like good six nodes, things like that. Not really selling, not really selling. And again, probably because they propagate so fast, and they're quite stable. So if you want one, I would almost kind of say you're spoilt for choice, if I'm totally honest. So they're not very hard to get. So I haven't done so well with them, and I actually have a huge one. I've moved it. Is it next to me? It was... Oh, I don't know where I've moved anything. It's really stressful. But I had one that was literally climbing up the wall. It was like this long. And it's beautiful. But I will probably chop it and prop it or whatever. I'll make a little bush and uh, give it away as a gift or something. Very nice. But generally, I'm not crazy about selling them. I will sell it. Don't get me wrong. It's just, it's been lower on the priority list because I feel like everyone's got it. Everyone's kind of done with that a little bit. Very nice plant, but... I think we're kind of done with that one a little bit for now. Oh, this is a good one. I'm actually right next to one. I'm right next to one. I could literally touch it in this tray. The next one, and I'm so proud of y'all. I'm so proud of y'all. The next plant that has done terribly in 2023, and I'm so glad it has because it means y'all actually see sense. Mm -hmm is the Monstera Thai Constellation Creme Brulee. Spoiler alert, I bought, and I've said this many times, I bought a few of them, I think. Oh my God. Sorry, I'm literally ruining myself. I bought a few of them a while ago and I showed you when I got them in. I said, hey, here's the tea. This is apparently the tea. You know, they grow a bit different. They grow this, they grow that. Do they fuck? Do they fuck? Do they fuck? No, they don't. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Creme brulee, bollocks. Absolute bollocks. Don't do it. It's basically a tie with seemingly higher variegation. Seemingly. So I'm trying to grab another one. I have a second one that's so much smaller. My God. Hang on. One moment, guys. Wrestling a plant to get to it. There we go. Here's another one. Tie creme brulee. Brulee. Can you see anything different? No, because there isn't, as I suspected. But you know me, guys, I will not try and tell you anything until I at least attempt to put my money where my mouth is, wherever possible. So bought them in, wanted to see how they would do. They've done the same as a tie, spoiler alert. And I think as a result, they haven't massively caught on. I think a couple of people here and there have tried to buy them. Fine, cool. But generally, honestly, friendly advice, just don't. Just don't. If you really want a nice tie, try and get one on an individual basis and you should be all right. But it, the, the nature of the variegation is very chaotic anyway. So you don't know what you're getting. I've got loads of tie that I bought in that were crap and then they throw out a few variegated leaves and then they go back to naught. I don't think it's worth the risk. And I can't remember how much the creme brulees were. I think they were quite a bit. I feel like I bought I bought some plugs in essentially and they were probably about that tall, so three inches tall. And they must have been about $150 each or something stupid. No. And that's at a supplier level, remember? No, absolutely not. So thank you very much for not allowing that to take off. Because honestly, call a spade a spade and I will call out bullshit when I say it, but I do think that was that was kind of bullshit. That that's when we reached a real peak of just selling shit with stupid names. And I'm so pleased that y'all didn't really fall for it. So well done. If you did, very sorry. <laughs> but I think on the whole, most of you didn't. So next one, this has come down a lot. Still a great plant, but it's done the gloriosome thing. And that is the Philodendron Florida Beauty. Wah, Literally crashed and burned. And I'm surprised because honestly, that held its value so, so well for years. Because I would mention this plant in investment plant videos and stuff like that. And I must have done it for like two, three years running. And I said the same shit every year. I basically said, you know, it's doing really well. That, you know, is the market going up or down or stable? And it was stable. It was stable the whole time. <laughs> and it didn't move. But now obviously it's not. It's come right down. I'm not mad about it. It's had a great run. It's had an incredibly good run, actually. And it's only just come down probably in the last year or so 
maybe a bit earlier, whatever. I think a lot of people, what happened was what they did to combat paying the price for full plant, they started dealing cuttings. And as a result, the cutting market, if you will, for these plants expanded to the point where you could just get a cutting so easily. And as a result, the price has definitely come down because there's so many cuttings about people just buying them anyway. So I think it's come down a lot. I'm not mad about that. That's not like the creme brulee. I've got a reason to be pissed. Although with creme brulee, I've got a reason to be happy about it. You get my point. I think that's just, it is what it is. And the, the Florida Beauty's had a fantastic run. Let's just be honest with ourselves, guys. It's had an absolutely fantastic run. I do have some. Full disclosure, I have three trays. Three trays, not one, not two, but three. You can't see them. They're up here. Oh, you can sort of see the bottoms of them. That one there is definitely one, two, three. Oh wait, do I have more? Yeah, I've got an extra one on top. I've got basically four trays of it and I, I do need to sell them and I will sell them at an affordable price. So that's Florida Beauty. Nice to see it on the bottom. It's had a really good run. Ooh, next one. Now I wasn't sure whether to mention this or not because I thought it dropped more than it had. So, and I haven't, I haven't really looked it up before this video, I'm going to be honest. The next one I've got on my list is the Philodendron Red Moon, guys. Now, what, what I know happened was everyone just stopped talking about it overnight and nobody cared about it anymore. Um, I certainly noticed that on my end. I think I talked about it a lot last year, but I haven't really talked about it much this year. And again, I do have this plant. It's, oh, there's some literally in that row down there on the bottom. And they're doing all right, actually. They're looking a little bit limey at the moment, but there's definitely some nice red patches on them. They're not, I say red, they're less red at the moment. They're more coming through burgundy. And I actually think that's a heat thing. If you're curious, I think it's heat related that makes them really pop. But I looked online very briefly before filming this video and I couldn't see any online. However, I thought, maybe I've got this out of nowhere, I thought they were TC'd. I thought I saw TC plants somewhere. I could have that completely wrong. Maybe it was yellow flame, which apparently is different. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure because I have bought both in my time and I'm not sure what the difference is, guys. I'm not sure what the difference is, guys. Not saying there isn't a difference. Apparently yellow flame might have a, a longer leaf or whatever. I mean, I don't know. Literally, I don't know. But let me know whether they've been TC'd or not because I'm saying this on the basis that I think they've gone from being shit tons of money, everyone talking about them, to TC, no one cares, no one talks about them. So let me know if I've got that wrong. More than happy to admit I'm wrong. Right, next on the list is the... Sorry, I've just turned my phone onto loud. That's ex that's That can't happen. That can't happen. Let me just put that back on silent. The next plant on my list is the Philodendron Strawberry Shake. Now, I actually don't know what value these have got. Let me try and Google it. Let me just try and purchase it one second and let's actually see what's happening. Philodendron Strawberry Shake. Oh, that's beautiful, but that's not going to be what they're actually selling. That's eBay. Well, you know what? I'm not seeing them. I'm not seeing them. Is this because we don't care? Is it because we don't care? Someone's selling a reasonable one there, 50 pounds on eBay, and it's obviously not selling. It's not selling. So yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that no one gives a shit about Strawberry Shake right now. Why is that, guys? Why is that? I don't get me wrong. I know they were they were insanely priced. So it, by, by that standard, it, it's bound to have perceptively had a, a crash and burn because they were so, you know. But even then, like, I, again, I have a tray of these, by the way, and I've got a tray. They're not small. They are not small. They're about this tall. They're about two foot tall of strawberry shakes. Literally, a whole tray. About 15, 20 of them. Literally. I haven't even tried to sell them because I just think even photographing them is going to be a mess. I think they might be too uh, too large for the boxes now. My fault. Uh, I think I'll have to cut them in half and then root them or take head cuttings or whatever. I might try. Who knows? But I don't see anyone care. I don't see anyone selling them. I don't think anyone gives a shit. Now, I've always said that they don't look that good and it's hard to get a nice one. You can get some nice ones, but they're very few and far between. And I think they grow like shit. I know they're very slow. They don't like sizing up. So I think there's a few factors there. I don't think they, they don't propagate well at all, do they? I haven't propagated one in a long time. I think, yeah, I think they're just so, so slow to, pra to, I can't speak, so slow to sprout and they don't grow very quickly at all. Seems stable enough in my experience, but ugh, I just think we're all done with them. I think we're absolutely done with them. Still a pretty plant, but to get a good one, it's that one girl on Instagram with a nice one. Do you know what I'm saying? I think generally we're, we're so past that. We're so past that. And that is my best and worst plants of 2023. Is it long? No, it should be fine. We should be okay. It's not too long. I want to know if you have any on your list. Not that you've probably sat and made a list, but if you have any that you think I should have mentioned as being best or worst, because there's high chance I've forgotten stuff. Because I've made this video over the last week, just kind of walking around the unit and things like that. Maybe if I've seen something online or on a Facebook group, then I've sort of made a note of it. Because I've been doing my plant predictions at the same time. 
and let me know if you think I've forgotten anything. I feel like there will be one or two things. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. It lets me know that I'm making content that you enjoy. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I would love to have you because 50% of you, 50% of you that watch my content are not subscribed. Not subscribed at all. What are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you very much, guys, for this video. And I guess I hope you've had a great Christmas. And I hope you have a great new year. Thanks, guys. Bye.